Hey everyone, Big Sexy here with another just totally pointless review and unboxing of things that everyone's already done a hundred times on here. Uh, I didn't really plan on going uh, Black Friday shopping this uh, year, but I was looking through, I found some uh, money I had saved up and changed, so, and I had some uh, power up points that I didn't use, so I decided I would just go ahead and redeem them now while I can get some deals. I have no clue what this is. They uh, handed it to me. I went to two different GameStops. They handed some Disney thing. They were just giving them out for free. It doesn't really look like it's anything of value. So I don't really know anything about this. My friend said it was like the Nightmare Before Christmas or something. Focus in there. I don't know, I guess they're just keychains or something, or I guess there's something neat, maybe someone would want them or pay for them, I don't know. I don't, I don't have any purpose to have Out of all the deals they had, this was probably by far the uh, best deal. Um, Battlefield was a good deal as well, but this is uh, Black Friday, in case you're watching it in the future. They probably won't be the same price now, but this was uh, $9.99, and I didn't even want to get one of these at all, but... I know that they cost so much, and I have a 4 gigabyte that came with it, and it's already filled up, and now I have PlayStation Plus. I have, like, absolutely no intention of buying Vita games anymore. I have, like, five, and most of them are really good. I'm going to do a review on the Vita soon, and I'm trying to sell I have MLB 13. I wanted to actually do a comparison video because I hate it for the Vita. Like, that's something that does concern me, is uh, I don't like the gameplay on the Vita so compared to PlayStation, so... I don't know how well like direct ports like MLB The Show work out. I might do a video on that if I don't sell it because I'm trying to get rid of that game. But I'll show this. Oh, I think I'm supposed to use scissors. This will work. Do it the manly way and take twice as long. So my point was. Yeah, I don't really plan on playing Vita games because I don't even... I bought those ones and most of those games are good, but I never even play them. Let me just grab scissors real quick. So I don't... I figured that uh, I have PlayStation Plus now and they do give you good deals. Like, you can get almost all the good Vita games for free. But I don't have any space on my memory card so I, for the price because these are so overpriced it's ridiculous. I didn't even want to show this on camera because it's just kind of pointless, but I guess I'll just unbox it too. And then it's pretty easy to put these in. I don't need to show you how to do that. And that's it. This propri proprietary chip. It's uh, just so Sony can make that little bit more money. And back to what matters, so. Battlefield 4 was on sale for 25 which was a pretty good deal. I know both these games um, looks like reviews are bad. I expect the Call of Duty to be pretty horrible, but I, I hated Black Ops 2 when it first came out, and now I thought it was like probably the best Call of Duty made. I just like so much about it. Really good graphics. Loved uh, the multiplayer. And uh, there's just a whole lot about it I ended up liking, so I'll give Ghosts a shot and it was uh, $44.99, so, you know, once the prices go back up, they usually, everywhere, they follow suit. So if they go up everywhere, then I only pay, like, 30 for it, so I can sell it probably for 40 and make some of the money back. I don't like it. The only other games I'm really interested in right now is uh, Madden 25, which, again, I hear that isn't doing too great either. And uh, Gran Turismo 6 when it comes out. So, I'm not going to do separate videos because that's pointless because there's already been so many out here. I figured I would just show both of these games together in case you're interested or want to compare them. I couldn't picture Battlefield for $25. That's such a good deal. I can't picture them possibly uh, raising the price back up to 60 when they cut it that much. So it probably will stay cheaper, but... If you didn't get a Black Friday, you probably missed out if you want this at any time. And then if you saw it, I don't know, the code for the PS4 version 
which this has it too, but it's an absolute ripoff. Who's going to pay uh, ten dollars on top of well, the, I think I, since I got them cheaper, but still that's such a ripoff because you can't even get rid of the game. You have to keep the game. On top, I'd rather just save my money and buy the full PS4 version, or just sell the game to someone with a PS3 that would give you enough to buy the PS4 version, because I'm sure you can find it used for like 50, 40 or 50 a week after it's out. So here's Call of Duty Ghosts. Season Pass. Let's see. Normally I don't show the code, or I mean normally I do show the codes, cause, well actually I will, because this is something I'm going to redeem. There it is, in case you want it. You can try out I, I, something I can't stand. Why do people always try and cover them up? By the time the video is rendered and uploaded, you'd think you would have played your game and redeemed the code by now. And ten years later, when someone's looking at this, you're still going to have the code covered. I mean, I can care less. I mean, type it in. Maybe you'll get to use it, too. This is for the free fall redemption code. The game, I went to two different GameStops because I printed out two different coupons because I'm a Power Up Rewards member, and they only let you use one per purchase, so I bought these at the first one and then this at the other one. The one at the, the other GameStop had like the special Black Friday edition and this must be the uh, launch edition because this is what came on the launch ones. So I did get the free fall map so I guess that's cool. Um, I have to like give a, I guess a shout out would be the thing that's kind of trendy to use but uh, the, the GameStop he must have been the manager because at the first one it was like a bunch of young punks and you know they're just I mean, they do their job, and the one guy was joking with me, and we got along, but, you know, they don't, they're just not, you know, seasoned workers like this guy at the other one. He, uh, they wouldn't let me use my coupons, because on top of the sale, because, you know, I saved, you know, a good bit of money on this. I got, well, it was like, I think maybe 85 in cash, but with, uh, you know, it would be like 120, 130 with the, no, it would be 145. In total, if all these were full price, so I pay like 85, and then I had 15 in coupons, a 10 and a 5, and they wouldn't let me use the coupon because they said this is it. So I went into the, so I didn't use it. So I went into the other one to get this, and the manager, I told him, you know, I'm not, gonna, I don't have enough money because I was about five dollars short. I said unless you let me use the code for the coupon, I'm not going to buy this game. So they said he said he like he'd make sure it worked and it didn't work in the machine, but he typed it in somehow and got it too. So that's going above and beyond whether you're supposed to do that or not. And I, I will cover that code up. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'll cover that code up because I probably won't use the PS4 redemption code. Because uh, as far as I know, I'm probably not getting a PS4 yet. So if I want to sell this game, I would probably want to leave that code. It might give it a little more value if someone else wanted to buy it off me. And one thing you want to notice, I never ever noticed this, because they all, you know, when you get your receipt, they always circle and make sure you tell GameStop, and I always do that, because I like to get a chance to win, but look how obvious that is. They put, I never, I didn't notice this until just recently, they put your, uh, this is just for Black Friday, I guess it's some bonus, they put your DLC codes right there, and I never really noticed that. Like, you know, they always highlight that, they ought to put a little more detail on that so you can tell. So at least I get that, so that's kind of neat. And then the uh, battlefield, as far as I know, didn't come with anything extra. So, there they both are. I, I wanted to get them for next gen, but I found out that uh, apparently my big Christmas present is going to be uh, four new tires, so that's pretty pathetic. But the wheels that are put, I'm putting on my car next year, which will be on my channel as well. Um, they look really good. People really like them, so you know it's going to look good when it's done. So I guess you, know, I'd prefer the PS4 under the Christmas tree, but I guess you know you need tires too because of mine. My summer tires are bad anyways. I guess I'll just enjoy them on the PS3. If I don't like them, I'll sell them, and maybe I get I'll get to do it on the PS4. Stay tuned. Again, I'm gonna probably do the Vita now that I got the memory card I'll probably put more games on it do a little more review it um, if there's anything because I know people say this game's horrible and I bet to a degree it is but I'll probably get um, accustomed to it and maybe I'll start to like it if not I'll sell it but I know this one has freezing problems but hopefully they've corrected that by now if there's anything I really like about it that makes them different than the other previous models or versions 
or if uh, there's anything I really don't like, I'll make a video on it, but I don't have a capture card, so I really don't plan on getting too in-depth with it. This, I can't believe this video is already 10 minutes in, so that was just a quick unboxing, a little Black Friday Madness experience story, and uh, you know, a little update on my channel for... I am getting a few more subscribers, it's still a pretty small amount, but you know, if anyone follows my content, that's my future plans and story of my life. Uh, you know, like I'm, I guess I'm like your brother now, you know everything about me, but there it is. Uh, bought into the uh, Black Friday propaganda, even though I didn't want to this year. Well, there it is, so enjoy and uh, come back for the next one.